My girlfriend has been avoiding me ever since her ex passed away. I am not op. Original post by you, f 20 in our relationship advice. And NBSP. My. 29F. Girlfriend. 27F. Has been avoiding me ever since her ex passed away the 6th of November 2021. We have been dating for four years and living together for two. She had only one other serious relationship. It was pretty traumatic for her. He spiraled down alcoholism. He drove drunk and ended up injuring himself severely while my girlfriend was with him. They broke up after he recovered. They had started dating when they were 16 and broke up when they were 22. He passed away last week. She has been avoiding me. She is a hugger and she hasn't hugged me in days. She has been crying and I can't help but feel insecure. I don't know what to do. TLDR. Girlfriend has been crying after her ex passed. And NBSP. Update. My. 29F. Girlfriend. 27F. Has been avoiding me ever since her ex passed away the 17th of November 2021. I received some really great advice from Reddit which helped me sort out my thinking. I just gave her space to think and process on her own. It was hard. My first instinct is to be there for her and talk to her but I realized what she wanted was space. Away from me and the only way I could be there for her was by giving her space. She is doing much better now. We talked about it and she told me she knew that she was being very distant and treating me like a roommate she didn't like. She apologized but I told her that I am glad that she took the time to process her emotion and I am willing to listen if she wanted to talk about it. It was a long conversation and to summarize it, she feels sort of survivor's guilt about getting out of their toxic home environments and building a life for herself when he couldn't. She had moved on, got away from her parents and met the love of her life. She had everything they had dreamed of having and he had nothing. She also feels guilty for breaking her promise to stay friends after she broke up with him. She told me that she had hoped and dreamed that he would get sober and get away from the destructive cycles of their families. She also talked about some of the great memories they had together. She is slowly starting to spend more time with me. She still cries but she lets me soothe her and be there for her. I feel less lost dealing with this as she slowly opens up to me and let me be there for her. TLDR. I gave her space. She is talking to me and that helps. It is still difficult but we will get through it. And NBSP, reminder I am not the original poster. Survivor's guilt is a tough thing. Hopefully she gets some professional help too. I've been on here too much because that's not where I thought this was going. This turned out much better than I thought. Such a heartwarming post glad they were able to work it out. Sometimes it's hard to realize that what your partner really needs is space. I make the same mistake sometimes of wanting to try to hard to take action when I see my wife is having a bad day when what she really needs is time alone. See also, I didn't want an answer. I just wanted you to listen. Let them know you're available if they need you. And then back away. I think I need a break from Reddit I only see bad endings in art rooms. My ex because of similar circumstances. He died very tragically at 34. We had been apart for two years but the finality of it wrecked me for about 2.5 years. I'm so glad I haven't dated cause I'm sure it would have been hard for a partner to understand. Op took the best approach. I could have sworn I saw this here earlier. Was it deleted? Hey, look, adults acting like adults. Hands clapping light skin tone hands clapping light skin tone hands clapping light skin tone. So impressed with Oop being able to tolerate his own discomfort to give her the space she needed. 
this happened to me. Sort of. I was dating a guy when someone I deeply loved. Never dated. But one of those friends who should probably date but didn't things. Died unexpectedly. Instead of being a jealous jerk. He was incredibly supportive. Even encouraging me to openly talk about the love I held for my friend. It was so helpful. Shame he ended up cheating on me and got his ex pregnant and disappeared off the face of the earth. Until a friend of his fessed up to me. But all's well that ends well I suppose. He was genuinely there for me when I needed him and for that. I will always be grateful. Communication is everything, my dudes. One of the rare Reddit's threads that reminds me that some people are much better than me. Op is a good partner. I went through something like this with a past relationship. Where their ex died. I'm ashamed of how I handled it and wish I could have been a better person. I'm glad this story didn't end with, I was still sleeping with my ex and he's my true love. Communication will always be key. Forever. What a wonderful partner you are. And a radass dude. Thank you for being folded hands growing heart candle call me hand. Is there a link to the original? I'm happy to hear that you're giving her space to deal with her feelings. Which have to be complicated right now. She'll be okay in the long run if you're supportive. I have an ex of 30 plus years that I still keep in touch with occasionally. And I know I'd take it hard if anything happened to him. We're not still in love with each other. We don't want each other back. And our spouses are fully included in our friendship. But we'll always part of each other's formative years. Reddit as a community you're amazing how you give people perspective on how many one thousands of way. People deal with and process grief and pain. You're amazing for the support these two people got and could then give each other. You rock. Reddit. Days like this make a lot of the BS out there so worth it. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.